All right, let's review some one-on-ones. So, DBs, when you line up, before you think about technique, before you think about anything else, think about where he's lined up. Okay, he's at the top of the numbers. So right off the back, I'm thinking inside breaking route. 80% of balls are completed to the inside. So right off the back, I'm thinking I need to get ready to protect this inside. Right here, we're going to focus on the step replace technique. The first thing we should always, always have is footwork, okay? Our feet are the most important factor, not our hands, okay? We need to work our feet and bring our hands. A lot of DBs get themselves in trouble because they go hands first, feet second. I need feet, then hands. As a receiver moves, we want to jab one foot forward to get our feet going, all right? Boom. As soon as the receiver moves, our feet are moving forward now. As we continue to open up this way, we want to keep the gate closed, all right? We don't want to open and turn this foot on this level, okay? We want to stay lateral, stay square as much as possible. So we are stepping replacing. This foot is going to kick step. This foot's going to kick step here, all right? So we should end up with our feet being here and our feet being here, which allows us to stay square, okay? We kick step. Now, look. We are still in front of our receiver, all right? Almost a full second has gone by, and we are still square as if we didn't start. It frustrates them, all right? They want to razzle-dazzle. They've been watching a lot of first down training videos, all right? Nothing frustrates a receiver more than a square DB. As we keep going, now we can bring our hands. We've done our footwork at the beginning, all right? We did the hard work in the beginning. Now we can bring our hands. and makes it for an easier target for the jam, okay? Jam, jam, jam. We're getting them off target. What I will say here, a lot of DBs, we can go from a good jam to an overly aggressive jam very quickly. So now that we have our hands here, we've got them off target. We made them work at the line of scrimmage. We're getting our hands here. All right. He actually holds on to his jam a little too long. All right. What I always tell DBs. If you were to run a race for a million dollars, would you rather run it with one hand or two hands, all right? He's running his race with two hands. We're running a race with one hand. We've already got the jam. Our footwork was a natural jam, making them work and go nowhere. Now we got another jam, all right, for about two to three yards. You're not going to be able to hold him in place too long. The jam is to disrupt timing. We already disrupted it with our footwork. All right, we already disrupted it with the initial jam. Now, you can easily go from great footwork, great jam, great jam, to too long of a jam. Not only can we get marked for holding, but now we are behind, all right? We have someone running full speed vertical with both their hands, both their arms, and we have one person trying to run a race with one arm, okay? So get that hand down. Once you've had about two yards of jam, you want to let it go and start running. We've already done our job, all right? The reason why, let's just count, all right? There's one yard, two yards, three yards, four yards, five yards. At five yards, six yards, all right, we've controlled the race. Now, he has to get into his route because the clock is ticking, all right? He, all the funny business all the fancy stuff has to go out the window. He has to get into his route now. Too much time has gone by, and he has not created separation, okay? He is supposed to create separation within the first two seconds so the quarterback can see him as open, all right? If we're still here, he has not created any separation in six yards. We've done our job. Now we just play the route and play the ball, okay? As we go... He tries to hold them, all right? We went from doing all that good work, all that dirty work, to now being behind because we held our jam too long, okay? But nonetheless, there is always something we can do, all right? My favorite superhero is Batman. The reason I like Batman is he is never out of place. There is always a backup plan. There's always contingency plans. So we went from good footwork, good jam, to being behind in the race, all right? But if we were to just open the gate and just let him run, all right, 
at the top of his route, he can give us that rocker step. All right, he can give us a lot of things to throw us off. Because he's behind, he's in a hurry. He knows he has to get to the target. We have eliminated all of the tricks he can run at the top of route. Now he just has to get to where he's going. All right, so even though we're behind, us doing all the hard work up front allows it for to be an easier read at the top of the route. Check a look at this route. All right, we got the same receiver running the same route, except the DB provides no resistance at the line of scrimmage. Receiver gets a free release. Now he feels comfortable hitting you with the rocker. We're grabbing the back pad. We're stumbling, looking back for the ball. We're not in phase, grabbing again. All right, and we end up getting pass interference. Do the hard work at the line of scrimmage, okay? Make the receiver work. If we let him get a free release, we're going to be doing the loser's clap. All right? So instead of getting this, this, all right, he now has to abandon that and get right into his route. No rocker step. He just has to go. That makes it way easier for us. Now that we're behind, okay, we can tell that the ball has not arrived yet. If you are behind, and you are not in between the receiver in the end zone, we do not look back. All right? We catch up to get back into phase. Do not look back for the ball. All right? You only want to look back for the ball if you're in good position or if you're in phase. How do you know you're in phase? You know you're in phase as if your inside hand, the back of your inside hand can tap his near hit. Not touch it. Not reach for it. If you can tap the inside of his hip with the back of your hand, you know you're in phase, okay? So we're not in phase. We're behind, all right? Don't rush. Now, he does end up taking a peek for the ball. The ball isn't there. If you do peek and the ball isn't there, get your eyes back on the target, okay? You are now not eligible for underthrown interception, if you peek and the ball is not there, okay, you need to get your eyes back on the target and play the hands, okay? He gets his eyes back. Now, the receiver slows down, okay? Here's what we need to do. As the receiver goes up for the ball, all right, we want one hand behind. We don't want to grab. We just want one hand behind so that we can bring this hand through the catching point, okay? We need to bring our long arm. All right, you don't want to go with the inside arm. If you stretch your arms out, the free arm is going to give you a longer distance, a longer radius to make this play, okay? So as the receiver goes up to the ball, we play the hands. All right, we get our hands in there. All right, our hands got into the face of the receiver. We didn't actually get to the ball, but our hands got into the face of the receiver without actually touching his face mask. All right, if a receiver cannot see the ball, he's most likely not going to catch it. All right, so place through the hands, place through the ground. Now let's recap. At the line of scrimmage, we have our step replaced. We jab our inside foot here. All right. And as we open up towards the outside, we want to step and replace. Nice. Now, we are still square. The receiver has to get vertical now. We're staying square. We're staying patient, okay? Technique, technique, technique. Patience, 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 all right? And now we can bring the hands, all right? Good jam, good jam. Like I said, two to three yards of contact is all we need to get him off timing, okay? We just want to throw off the timing. Our jam isn't going to keep them in place, okay? Boom. We're behind. Don't worry about it. We are just going to play the hands, our good footwork, our good jam here. All right? He can't rocker step now because now he'll never get to the target. We run, we run, we run, we run. Now we need to play the hands. Boom. Good.